Hi everybody, it's AJ with Hippie Fertilizing. I'm here with Eric today in Friendswood and we are only uh, a little shy of 45 days after our first application. It's what, March 12th and we did our job. We got this completed on, I believe, January 27th. That's correct. So it's, it's only been like been less long. than 45 days. And what have you experienced? Uh, first, let's talk about what you were dealing with before we got here. Okay, before I met AJ, I, I uh, had a pine tree that was starting to die. And I couldn't figure out why. And there was always fungus in the grass and issues with the lawn. So I had an arborist come out here and look at the tree and just kind of explain to me some things that could be going wrong. And he mentioned AJ and hippie fertilizing. So I gave him a call and went from there. So we ended up uh, doing some work to the to the yard, or I did. I drilled some holes and put some uh, some product some, in it. He, he put down one of the things was micro grow granular right. by Microlife. It is a super powerful biological inoculant that colonizes around roots and helps to naturally fight off diseases with good bacteria and good fungi. So I did that and then I had him do the, the lawn restoration package. And uh, now here we're, what do you say, 45 days or something? Yeah, a month, a month just and a half. shy of 45 days. So uh, everything's green enough, better than uh, better than usual, and uh, you know my yard had a lot of issues. So I'm happy with uh, with how it's starting to look. For sure. So that, as you explained to me before, Eric, you said this was a whole lot more bare. Right, right. Nothing ever grows here in the summer. It really dries out. Even using, I have an irrigation system, but it still dries out a lot, and uh, it just doesn't grow. Here. And, and so now, though, like you said, you pointed out, we're starting to see runners. Right, we're seeing healthy St. Augustine grass filling in and um, starting to look a lot, a lot better. Uh, just so those of you watching can know, I don't want to be brand specific, but, uh, you know, you were following like a regular fertilizer schedule. A well-known schedule and products, so I was following it. To, right. to the T. So as we like to word that, conventional stuff. Synthetic fertilizers, pre-emergence, and herbicides. Uh, with all that being said, now I know it's a bit of a trick question, okay? What are you going to do about the weeds this year? Nothing. Yes. That's what's going <laughs> to okay. happen. Nothing. Don't kill plants and expect other plants to live because it just doesn't really work that well. And if you've been having success with your conventional uh, schedule, hey, that's cool, but I still encourage you to go organic because it's healthier for you, your family, and our environment. So as we're here, let's take a walk towards the front so we can actually go look at these trees and see what's going on. Whoa, I'm going to swoop this up for a minute. Uh, we wish we had the name of this plant. Eric, what did you tell me earlier about it? So around December, January, it'll start to, to bloom. And normally I would have maybe six or eight pink blooms on it, or maybe a little bit more. But this year, it's just exploded with life. And uh, it's still, here we are in March, and it's, it's, it still has blooms and still has new blooms. So uh, I think this, this plant's supposed to bloom just in, in the late winter maybe early or early spring this time of year, but it, it never has lasted more than a few weeks, maybe. And this has been going on since, uh, oh gosh, you know, I started noticing the buds in late December, but after uh, AJ's application and everything, it started really coming to life a couple weeks later. Because for those of y'all who do follow me, y'all know I'm all about supporting soil biology. For those of y'all who don't follow me, know that I'm all about supporting soil biology. And when you feed the soil first, you win. Let's go. Ooh, look at these azaleas. You even got a bumblebee floating around. It'd be kind of hard to catch that. I'm using my phone camera, it's not that quick. But uh, that's awesome. We're, we're, we're supporting pollinators and making sure that their, uh, you could say, habitat 
isn't being contaminated. Sometimes we gotta get out here and do things when we can. Eric's having having his AC done. Hey man, that's awesome. Stay cool, it's cool. Especially here in Texas. A good AC is actually better for the environment because it'll reduce uh, like cost of electricity, reduce your electricity use. And of course if it's holding its free on and all that good stuff, uh, it's anything that runs more efficiently is healthier. Bottom line. I know that's not really a part of our normal talk, but if you do and have anything out there, the better maintained it is, the better it is for our environment. So let's look at these pine trees. You were following that conventional schedule, right? Uh, and sometimes putting weed and feed down, right? Or, or of course, yeah. So pre-emergency fungicides, whatever, uh, whatever it is. All that yeah. stuff, right? You ever so put down things, yeah, in, insecticides? Of course. Uh, so insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides. So it, if y'all watch me, y'all probably know what I'm gonna say, but if you don't, I want y'all to know. Insecticides, herbicides, miticides, fungicides, if it says aside, set it aside. I don't use that crap, okay? Because it also kind of rolls with the same word as genocide. That means it kills everything. It just don't use that stuff. Uh, I heard one of the, or I read one of the greatest quotes uh, that I saw yesterday from another comment on a YouTube video. The gentleman said, an old hippie, it wasn't me, uh, told him to let life take care of life. And what he was talking about, he said that the old hippie said, hey, you want to bring your lawn back to life, put out a bunch of bird seed and let birds come and eat it and they'll, they'll leave you fertilizer, I guess. He said it worked phenomenally so it kind of goes along with supporting soil biology you let life take care of life see now this is definitely the main pine tree in question I'm no true arborist just yet, probably never will be, but I do have some arbor culture background. And from looking at the other pine trees up and down the street, you can tell that these were set a little lower. Whenever you're planting trees, new or old, you want that root ball to be a little bit higher because otherwise you're essentially choking out your own plant. And we don't want that. So what Eric has done here, uh, he has, started to bring stuff back and, and try to expose this root flare around this tree. Uh, I don't know if, if we're able to zoom in on it, but there is so many new little buds. Oh, on this lower one here. Yeah, tons of new little buds on a tree that you know we're thinking about taking down. Right? Yeah, even an, an arbor company said, yeah, this tree's not going to make it. It needs to come down. Here's our quote. So, and now it's coming back to life. So, we're not out of the woods yet, but this is definitely better results than we would have gotten with using a fungicide, uh, than going with the same conventional approach on, because wouldn't you have already put something else down on the lawn following that conventional schedule? Oh, probably so. Right. I would, have, I would have done things that would have made things worse for sure. Right. Uh, and, you know, conventional products are filled with salt. Let's quit paying to salt the earth. It's a little silly. This is only 45 days. Are you happy with the results, Eric? Definitely. I mean, look, everything's greening up and and looking good. I need to cut the yard, but uh, it's... That's a good thing to have to do. It's, uh, that means it's growing. Right. <laughs> so, and, and it's March, so it's, it's and, good. And he's a small business owner. Eric, what do you do? Well, I do collision repair. I have a shop in Pearland. It's called Eric's Custom Finishes. And, uh, 
been there 27 years. Man, really wild. I've been only around for three years, so he's got 24 on me. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And even though it's a vastly different industry, it's kind of hopeful for me when I do meet uh, other entrepreneurs and small business owners that have been successful for so long. Well, so, you've got a product that works, and you show up and do what you say you're going to do. So I see no reason why this isn't going to be extremely successful. Thank so you. I wish you all the luck. Thank and you, And I'll sir. definitely be using it using your service here uh, as, as much as possible, especially the, the topsoil and, and everything that you've put out. It's, it's, uh, it's, I think it's done wonders. Which brings me to one of the last parts before we wrap up this video. We use our hippie juice everywhere. We love hippie juice, okay? Microlife has done a huge deal and they have made plant and soil energy that's based off of the hippie juice recipe. Some people ask why I didn't make it and why my name's not on it. Well, humic acid and molasses together is not a stable product. It will explode like it's trying to ferment like you're making beer or something, okay? They figured out how to stabilize it and they have definitely openly given me the credit for the idea. So I'm super happy about that and I didn't have to worry about purchasing tons of inventory. So. If y'all are looking for an easy way to get some hippie juice, check out Plant and Soil Energy. And you can get it from my, my man Friendswood Mercantile on Amazon. That's where that one came from. It was on the doorstep this morning. So. Yeah. So, boom. It's a, uh, what do you call it? Amazon Prime, two-day shipping. Get it quick. And soon we're going to come up with ways that I can set up packages for people who want to actually mix their own hippie juice. So, Eric. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this video with me. I'm super happy that you're seeing all kinds of good results. And most importantly, I'm happy that, uh, oh, I'm going to ask you one more time. What are you going to do about the weeds this year? Nothing at all. Yes! Support soil biology, support biodiversity, and remember, nobody knows grass like a hippie. Peace.